The second point questions the concept that brain death is the death of a human being. Although a brain dead person cannot breathe independently, the heart continues to function for a while. For this reason, like Yusuke in the manga, if the person is put on a mechanical ventilator, for a while he or she appears just unconscious and asleep. Also, there are reports of cases where pregnant women gave birth while brain dead. Considering these facts, some people question whether it is right to declare a brain dead person dead and procure the organs, even if that was the person's wish. There are two responses to this argument. The first is that brain death especially loss of brain stem function, causes the loss of integrative unity of a living organism. So brain death means its death as an organism. The second is that consciousness is what is important for human life. And if consciousness is irreversibly lost because of brain death, the person is dead as a human being even if the body is alive biologically. These two ideas are often combined to uphold the opinion that brain death is the death of a human being. Finally, the controversy over brain death is closely related to distrust of medical care. Many people are concerned about the idea of a doctor who is normally thought of as saving a patient's life, but here determining that a person is brain dead and harvesting their organs to be transplanted into other people. In medical transplantation today, the doctors who take part in legal determination of brain death and the doctors who are involved in organ transplantation are not the same people, and efforts have been made to increase transparency. However, it will be difficult to establish and develop transplantation medicine unless this distrust can be dispelled. Since the enforcement of the revised organ transplant law in July 2010, the number of transplants from brain-dead donors has increased in Japan. However, it still has a number of issues, such as insufficient information disclosure, inadequate care for the donor's family, when faced with a decision about brain death determination and organ donation, and the continuing shortage of donors. In order to promote transplantation medicine, efforts should be made to develop an appropriate legal framework, improve methods for determining brain death, and implement measures to raise public awareness. This is the end of the course. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for taking this course.